Last night, two members asked me if I would please show them in Foxtrot the action from a natural movement into a wave which I danced in Blackpool. And when I danced it in Blackpool, no one had ever seen this action before. No one. Even the old teachers who were there, no one had seen it before. The fanatics like Jack Reevey who writes for Dance News, Brian Allen who writes for the Dancing Times, they had never seen it. When Jack Reevey wrote something about it in the Dance News, two members asked me last night if I would show you this particular movement, which I shall do later on this afternoon. Slow. Wait, you are. Wait, 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 slow. Wait, 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 slow. Wait, 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 slow. Slow. Wait, wait, slow. Wait, wait, slow. Good. Thank you very much. Now we have, we have 10 minutes, more or less, to go. And as I did actually teach you the variation yesterday, I always like to try to leave questions answered. And we had these two requests last night. So what I'd like to do, I don't think there is much point in starting in 10 minutes to try and do this little bit of foxtrot and also to do the other tango variation. You've got it, you've seen it, it's on video. You've got the basic concept of it, but just remind you of it once again. I will remind you because I want you to remind you of all the variations we have done. Now what I did in Blackpool that caused <coughs> so much surprise, have you got a nice fox dog up there, darling? I'll take it from a feather finish and go straight into it. I think this is very interesting. I'll give you some history on it in a moment. Do you want one to go? It's a gal. Doesn't matter. Don't yeah. Don't music is music. Oh, it makes the world go round. A slow box drop. <laughs> If I walk through this from the natural turn, you are all familiar with the standard entry to a reverse wave, which is the first three steps of a reverse turn. Now what I'm doing here is I'm dancing a three step into a natural turn, and now I'm dancing a curved feather, girl in line, into the reverse wave and doing whatever. Now you'll notice that from here, slow, quick, quick, slow. I'm going back with the right hip and shoulder leading onto the ball of the foot. The heel will not touch the floor. The left leg is brought back with the heel on the floor, releasing it to take it to the toe. During the lowering from here, you'll notice that my body is becoming neutral. Now I continue with four, five, and six of the normal reverse wave. Quick, quick, slow. Now I'll do it once again for you to music so you can probably get some idea you've seen it. I'll tell you a little story about this step. <clears throat> so Oh, 
Ich habe auch Bock auf mein Schwert. Uh, many years ago, <clears throat> which I am very fortunate to have on video at home, Josephine Bradley did a lecture, I think she also did it in Holland, called The Development of the English Style of Ballroom Dancing. And this involved going back to doing the first foxtrot from just after the First World War when there were no feather finishes, no heel turns, and the development, we actually showed in that particular lecture four different foxtrots, all doing them all in line. Before, for example, they had a feather finish from a reverse turn, they had a heel pull going through. Now this step is so popular today, it's so popular from a triple chassis, quick and quick slow, and a quick, quick slow. It's become one of the most popular steps in Foxtrot. I love it. But that, in fact, step was danced before we had a feather finish. It was danced from here before we had a feather finish, with a heel pull. That was before a feather finish. So you can see that things take a complete circle to come back to becoming popular. I'd hate to lose the feather finish. Anyway, in one of the lectures, the Foxtrot of 1923, when we were then stepping outside Park now as we are doing today, Joe showed me that step. I'm sorry that I learned the step after I stopped competing, because if I had been known of this the action as a competitor, I would have used it. The feel is gorgeous. Now I'll show it to you once again, and then if you'd like to try and come on and try it, Not you. I have got four minutes. These people are so brilliant, they will learn it in three minutes. <laughs> then we've got one minute left. Now I'm going to go straight into it from a three step. From here, slow. Here's my natural turn. Here is the start of my wave. There is my wave. And now you can do whatever you want from here, a heel pull, triple chassis, anything you like. Now the point I'd like you to watch Bobby, I'd like the girls just to watch Bobby quickly when they do it from here. She's completed her natural turn. Now what she must do as a girl is completely give herself to her partner. Oh, isn't that a lovely thought? Isn't that a lovely thought? Give me your body. Bobby. Give me your body, boy. You'll notice how that she is very subservient. She hates that word. But she is very subservient to follow from here the shape of my body. And the shape of my body. And the shape of my body from there. Okay? Now, would you like to come on and try it? Yeah. You've only got two minutes. Not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary. Ladies, sorry. Just one second. Just try it quickly, then I'll try and answer. I'll try and answer Jan's question. Go forward in your right foot and lead your partner into a natural turn. Face diagonal to wall, young man. Right foot forward, diagonal to wall. Ready? And slow. Now lead your partner in line. Slow. Quick, quick. Now wave. Four, five, six, four, five, and six. That's the idea. Once again. Right foot first. normally we take the feather outside and of course normally we uh, most couples do just a second uh, this was also if I, if I can kill two birds yeah but Jan's question was the exactly same. the same all fellows never die never die <laughs> you see that Jan's question was exactly the same that when I dance it you can actually see I've got a right hip and shoulder leading which is normally the action preparing to take a partner outside. 
Well, for example, when before we had outside partner steps, for example, the first foxtrot, the first foxtrot before they ever thought of going outside, was slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. It was danced in line. It was only when Josephine Bradley's partner tripped and took it outside partner that it felt more comfortable. But the body was still used in dancing. And for example, when we danced the reverse waves, I never ever led Bobby outside. But I've still got the molding of the turn to bring her back in line with my body. So from here, I take the reverse wave. Now I'm keeping her in line with me. I'm taking her in line. I never ever took her when I danced that step, I never took her ever outside part. Very nice. Because basically when you lead from this position here, so a back feather, the amount of turn is reduced to nothing. That's why nine girls out of ten always have their hips stuck out in that position. Because a back feather is normally danced from a curving feather when I'm actually dancing a quarter of a turn on the curving feather to bring my partner in line, not outside. Now you can see again, Jan, if you think of it from both points of view, if I take from here a curving feather, that's slow. She starts outside, but now she comes in line to complete the curving feather. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm doing slow, quick, quick, slow, and taking it in line with a curve, and now I curve again back to the left. That's one of the actions when they talk about a good foxtrot is, it, is a dance with straight lines or soft, less soft curves. Very soft curves. Try it once again and then I'll have to say bye bye. Ready? From the natural turn. Ready? And slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, Quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please sit down. Dames and heren, we mogen afschieten. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I can simply warn you that that step that I just showed you was for the first time seen in life. For the first time because of its out of the grave, as Benny called the left twist. That was out of the grave. It's got a super feeling. It is not easy, and the bodies have got to be molded in such a way to be able to stay with each other. And I hope that some of you may feel like teaching it to your much more advanced pupils. Now, I would like to thank you on behalf of Bobby and myself for being a wonderful audience. We always enjoy coming to the Dutch Congress. Just such a nice, Happy lot of people who feel relaxed to teach you. This place is a wonderful venue, and I hope you enjoy the next few days of your Congress. You're going back to London at half past three today. We'll enjoy yourself tremendously being with you, and once again, thank you very much indeed. Bye bye. Thank you.